Welcome back to another edition of Coughing and Swearing at the Internet with Joe right here at the Rant and Share. Smoking a poor excuse for lucky strikes, sorting the world's problems out while I'm getting my coffee together. Well, as I often do in the morning time, uh, after I roll out of bed, scratch my nuts, go take a piss, get rid of my morning wood that way, uh, go start me a cup of coffee, light me a cigarette, and, you know, figure out what fucking problems need faced for the day and how I can better waffle stomp their ass into the fucking ground. <laughs> and take the fucking initiative. Uh, I'm usually watching my videos and shit while I'm getting up and, you know, getting my adulting done and taking care of mama. And, you know, this is a topic that we discussed in Armed Apes last night. If you don't know who the fuck Armed Ape is, you're missing out. That motherfucker is one of the few people that actually gets me rolling laughing once in a while. Does cool gun shit. Go watch him. All right. Another channel I watched, Code Before Nine, man. Like, old dude's got some fucking wisdom and some smarts about him. Like I said, you don't know, you know, like, if you ain't into surplus guns, stick around. He plays with other toys, too. Okay? See, I don't stick to one topic in the firearms world. I like them all. Even Ruger's once in a while. Yeah, I'm a sucker for the fucking Mini-14 if it's like a... 1970s, 1980s, AR-556 looking motherfucker. Yeah, okay, fine. They're cool. I admit it, okay? We all liked the A-Team just a little bit. I didn't so much, but like that van, you know, Mr. T playing with that Mini-14. Come on, man. But I digress. <clears throat> Instability in times, right? People are going to tell you, we live in troubled times. And we do. Even my liberal fucking family sees this shit. They're like, hmm, times are getting scary. I don't know what the fuck we're going to do. I'm like, hmm. You know, uh, the crazy racist, uh, you know, brother of yours who's, uh, you know, hates everybody and everything. Some more than others. I hate others more equally than some. Yeah, you know, I'll admit it. So fucking what? Sue me. I'm an American. I don't care. I have the right to. You know, apparently I was right. You know, we needed food and water and... You know, our medical supplies and, you know, weapons and things like that. But guess what? They don't want us to think logically. These ammo bans come up. <sighs> These big old panic buys and ammo scares. Well, guess what? There's no more higher demand for ammo today than there was yesterday. The difference is you're paying twice the price for the same fucking ammo from Lake City. Why? Because people are panicking. Stop buying ammo. If you don't need it right now, don't buy it. Find other things to do with your firearms day. Guess what? Used guns are so cheap. I was telling Armed Ape about this last night. He about shit a fucking gold turkey on the subject. I told him, like, the last time I was in a pawn shop, I saw brand new, basically unfired Glock 5 Gemma, Gen 5 MOS. I think it was a 19 for, like, 400 bucks. If I had the 400 bucks, I would have a Glock right now. I don't even like the Glock 19. I want a 17 long slide. But you know what? 400 bucks, if I had it, I'd have that damn thing. You know why this is happening? It's because people are broke right now. The small arms market has crashed. Okay? Now, it's a regional thing. Right here, right now, like pawn shops and everything are so full of firearms, they cannot give them away. So guess what? This is the time to stock up. You ain't got a brand new firearm, go buy a used one. You ain't got the dream gun you want, and you got the do re -mi, go get it done. Because right now, people are going to freak out about the fucking ammo. Next year, it's going to be all of it, including the firearms. Same for silver and gold. You want silver and gold? Buy it when it's cheap, stack it deep. <clears throat> you need some magazines for your fucking firearms? What are you waiting for, Christmas? Yeah, actually, you should wait for Christmas, right? Black Friday deals. Buy the shit on sale. Don't pay retail price for this crap, dude. You think I got all the crap I do by paying full price for it? No. I figured out a way to cheat the system. Now, some of the parts I paid for my rifle are full price, but to be fair about it, I really, really wanted the original Car 15, okay? And I've made it about as close as I can without fucking, you know, selling a kidney to do it, all right? It is what it is. But go out and have some fun, goddammit. Go get yourself some fucking cool and exotic firearms. And stop worrying the world's ending. 